And what I want you to be very specific here, and uh, we're going to ask the Lord how to pray specifically for Uganda. I have this thing right now, uh, protection over pastors. Protection over these young believers right now. Amen. I just see children specifically. Amen. Just really protection for children. Amen. Did you know that Uganda is the youngest, has the youngest people group in the planet? That's right. 14 years old is the average age of Uganda. 14. Your teenager would be an adult in Africa. God, protect the children of Africa. Amen. Amen. God, show us how to pray. Yes. For our brothers and sisters. Mm. You know, when you begin to pray, mm. I didn't understand a word you were saying. But my spirit said, Amen. Yes. yes. Amen. See, the same spirit that raised Christ Jesus Amen. from the dead Amen. kills him. Amen. you and Africans and Ugandans and us here. It's the same spirit. Mm. There are Amen. brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. Mm. So just close your eyes. And, and uh, I want to pair up here. I want to pair up in twos and threes. Mm. I do not want to. I don't want to do. I don't want to do normal service tonight. I want to flow with Holy Spirit. I want you to grab hands. Just grab hands with somebody. And I want you to ask the Father, say, say, Father, how do you want me to intercede and pray and believe? Give me a picture. Give me a mental image. Uh, draw upon my heart something specific. I release the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the room. I believe tonight we can touch you, God. Governmentally, I feel this right now. Even the president, the inner chamber of Congress, and their parliament, and they have a democratic type of government that we can actually shift the hearts of leaders in yeah. this room tonight. If we will craft a prayer that he's praying, Jesus sits on the right hand, making intercession. I want you to wait on him. Say, Lord, how do you want me to pray? I wait on you. Drop in my spirit. Lord, we're here to meet with you tonight. Prayer is really, really praying what he's praying and saying what he's saying. Yes. It's just repeating what he's doing. Prayer gets a lot of fun that way and becomes very effective. We want your heart tonight. Give us your heart tonight, God. Give me your heart. For these people. And if, if you start getting a mental picture or something, I want you to pray that out. Now, I want to open the mic up here. Because we're going to agree with you. But I want you to really get a word from heaven. Mm. You know, mental picture or an impression. We're going to open up the mic here. And I want you to declare that thing. And we're going to agree with you. Holy Spirit, Come. Come. Come, Holy Spirit, we invite you. Invite your presence, Lord. We want to agree with heaven. We're over two, three, three. Touching one thing. Yes, shall Lord. Be done. Yes, Spirit Lord. Spirit of prayer is coming in the room. Yes, Lord. Ah, I see the spirit of a warrior. I see the spirit of a warrior arising in Uganda and in South Africa. I see that the Lord has poured out His Spirit upon these nations to be warriors for righteousness' sake, to be warriors for the children, to be warriors for justice, and even to be warriors to send out the warriors from these nations to other nations. The Lord desires to raise up in these places men and women and even yes. young people whose hearts are strong for the Lord. Yes, Lord. And Father, we confess that every nation that has come into Uganda has perverted the spirit of the warrior that you have originally poured out upon that nation. And we repent, Lord, for every nation that has come in and perverted what you originally impacted that nation with. And Lord, we declare that tonight your river flows over Uganda. Your river flows over South Africa, Father. Your river of purity flows yes. over those nations, Father. Recreating in the men and the women and the children of those nations. Lord, the heart 
of the righteous warrior yes. that rises up to mm. declare the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Yes. Wasn't there 200 girls by Hezbollah kidnapped out of a village? That's right. And then they did it again. You feel that right now? Yes. They haven't been able to find those 200 girls. Just wait in the Holy Spirit. What if it was your daughter? If it doesn't move our heart, it's not going to move your heart. Amen. God, I pray right now for your presence to come. I'm not asking for emotionalism, for the flesh that doesn't move you. I'm asking for real birthing of the Holy Spirit of God. That's the heart of the Father for the nation of God. 
to come to this room. That you could use this tribe in this room tonight to shape and to move and alter things in the nation of Uganda even tonight. Yes. That visions would be released. Visions would be released of where the girls are. Where the girls are. Yes, Father. Thank you. you would dismantle that whole system. The Hezbollah whole, the entire system, God. You would dismantle it, expose it, and liberate those girls. We speak peace over the parents right now. This has almost been like six months. God, we pray hope. Yes. Hope. Hope. Yes. Hope. Yes, hope. Give us your heart, God. Hope. God, give us an image, give us a picture, give us direction right here, Lord. We will agree with you, Lord. We will agree together, God. We give you this space, this moment, Lord, to direct us. If you get a middle picture, an image of anything. Servants of God, totally like. But they are getting weary because they're not seeing the manifestation of Africa. They are toiling, they are toiling, they are getting tired. But I saw again a clock clicking that is time. So Father God, just to speak strength about them, oh God. Father, you are the only hope that they have, oh God. Father God. You have called them to stand there. Father, they don't have left or right. You hold them there, King of glory. Whether they eat, whether they sleep, they only have you, oh God. So, Father God, they are the trade that you still have in Africa that is keep still keeping that Africa standing because of the incense and prayer that goes day and night. Really strength for the families of God. Father, really protection over them, oh God. Come we agree. We agree. Oh, God. Father, any burdens that they might have or any struggle that they might meet through this challenge, oh God. Let every toil, let every seed that they have sown over Africa, oh God. Let every tear that they have cried out, oh God, to see souls, to see, to see village, oh God, come forth, oh God. Father God, release your mighty hand. Let them know that it's time. Let them know that they have been answered, oh God. Father, as the old man in the Bible who waited to see Jesus Christ before he died, let them also see the manifestation of Africa being changed and turned around in Jesus' name. vision of uh, like an upgrade, like a wardrobe, you know, <clears throat> and what I see the Lord is doing, the Lord is removing filthy garments, and God is upgrading garment of, you know, gladness, garment of praise, He's giving them, He's clothing them with His glory, with His presence, and Africa, tonight we decree over you. That every filthy garment that you've been wearing from from the day that you that you have been exposed to idols that bring causes to your life, that tonight, that by the mercy and the goodness of God, 
that 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 filthy garment is being removed from you today in Jesus' name.